All right, we are now in a rafter. The old uh, V6 Ford, why? Why, why Ford, why the V6? You guys had it, and then you're like, eh, let's put a V6 in everything, and killed it. Yeah, the, the Rafter is a pretty good truck, though. You know, we're struggling to get to 100 miles per hour, though, but it's a... It's a decent off-roader. It's not really made for speed, obviously. It's made for off-roading. So, how about we maybe test out a little bit of that off-road capability right now here? So here is the off-road capabilities of the Rafter. We're going through a little, look at that. How about we do that again here? All right, so she is in the stock tires and everything. You know, it's the capability of this truck is uh, pretty good though. You know, the only downside is the engine. As I said before, but it's still a good off-roader truck. Um, but despite, I don't think many people off-road the rafters anymore. It's mostly, I don't know. Do you guys still off-road the rafters? Or is it just, just drive it on the street type of deal? Or mall crawlers? All right. I want to see if we can climb up here. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got we had pretty good clearance though getting up that. All right, let's turn her back around. I'm gonna jump into it. Yeah, that V6 is struggling. It's struggling. It's like. <laughs> But, still, it's a pretty good off-roader. I don't know how deep this is. Oh, yeah, look at that. No problem at all. It's, it's good concentration. It's a great truck, though. Come on, can we climb this, though? This is the challenge here. I had to downshift it to third. We're still climbing a little bit here. This is pretty good. Wow, that, that did pretty dang good. I'm surprised. All right, how about this next one here? That's a, uh, hold on, just wanted to fight me here a little bit. All right, we're, ooh, almost rolled it. We're in mud right now, but it doesn't matter for this thing. This thing don't care, man. There we go. All right, we're gonna keep climbing. I'm gonna try to see what I mean, like some rocks or something up here. All right, how about this? Come on, come on, rafter. Come on, rafter, you can do it. She just needs a little bit more power, but she has pretty good power, though. Those turbos is what's helping it. If it wasn't for those turbos, it will be deadly. Not really. It would just be stuck up here. <laughs> because you wouldn't be able to make it up the main mountain. Ooh, look at this. Oh, stop it. Whoa, hit the brakes. All right. Put it back at first. Come on. We're coming into some snow. Oh, not that. Reverse it. Maybe. All right, there we go. Come on now. Now, I believe this truck is a 10-speed. If I can get this stupid truck in the gear. All right. But this rafter is just handling this. Look at this baby work. Pretty cool. I know you guys want to see the Ram in action here are in the ram power wagon and this truck is absolutely amazing i love this truck Turn and this is when it is safe to do so. on, this is that let me change the trans because honestly i don't want to shift no more all right so here we are in the power wagon uh ram we're going to do a little bit of off-road testing with this truck now this truck is a really nice truck. Um, it has the. It, this one definitely has the power. Like the Rafter, it didn't have the power. This one has that power, and 
it is so far is what it needed. It's what the rafter needed, even. Uh, if the rafter had it, it would have dominated this like no problem. But at the same time, it can be very dangerous if you're not careful with it. Here's the interior of the Ram. It's a pretty nice looking truck, as you guys can see. It's, um, In 400 yards. you know, we're taking this stuff like 50 miles per hour and it loves it. Alright, a little bit on those brakes. You can definitely feel the weight. This one's a lot more heavier. Alright, we're all on the open road. Turn left. Man, look at that. The power of this thing is like amazing. For a truck, this thing is amazing. Look at this thing move. We had a hundred. Oh yeah. Look at this. The handling of this thing off road is amazing. A hundred miles per hour onto the tarmac and absolutely like no hesitation transition. Amazing. We had 131 miles per hour in a freaking truck. This is nuts. We are tapped out in a freaking truck, bro. Okay, we're losing it right now, though. We just took out a whole bunch of trees, but... <laughs> don't worry about that. And we just smacked into a container. That's cool. The owner's not going to be happy, but you know what? I was never here. Look at this. Look at this thing. It's gonna get deep, but it's gonna get deep somewhere in here. It's gonna get pretty deep, but this thing is a boat. We are going eight. We're going 90 miles an hour in water right now, guys. Look at this thing flow, boy. We're going 100 miles an hour on the water in a pickup truck. We're going almost 110 miles an hour on a boat. Who said you need a boat? Just use a power wagon. <laughs> this thing is sweet, man. This thing is freaking gnarly. Gnarly. All right. The last thing that we're going to test out here is going to be the, the Titan Warrior. The concept. This thing is the next. Um, this one is, I believe this one is a Cummins so this is a Cummins turbo diesel truck. So here's the Titan Cummins. This one has, this thing moves. This thing moves, this thing boogies. You guys see this thing for a diesel. This thing moves for a diesel. And this thing's loaded down too, man. This thing is loaded. But man, it handles good too. Look at the handle of this truck. It has a little, you could definitely feel the body roll of this truck. Um, it's uh, it's pretty, ugh. it can take those turns though. We're going 105 miles an hour. It doesn't feel like we're going 105. Okay, the back end went off the ground there, but. It don't feel like we're going 105 miles per hour, but we was going 105, and it just feels like you're just cruising on a Sunday, you know? I'm I'm, pet, I'm full throttle right now. It's definitely a little bit slower than the Power Wagon Ram, and the... I think it's a little bit faster than the... And then, then the Ford Rafter. The Ford Rafter, I believe, was struggling to get to 100. This one's struggling a little bit. Look at this. We're just cruising at 100 miles per hour. No problem. It has a little bit of body roll. You can move the wheel. It, look at that. Just easy. This is an easy driver. Anybody can drive this thing. And that. Look at this. It won't. This thing is uh, really nice. Let's take it off road for a little bit. Oh my god. I didn't mean to flip it. So we all know what the Ram did. The Ram did pretty dang good on this we got up to 110 miles per hour let's see how fast we can get this up oh, i didn't mean to go that far into it he is stuck at 87 88 89 miles an hour 
this truck is not getting to 110 i can tell you that but it's slowly picking up speed to a a small degree it's very very noticeable but we're not going to get to 110 in this truck i can guarantee you that but here's the inside of it and there you go we dropped off so top speed that we hit 97 miles an hour uh it did pretty good now we're going down this dirt road it's uh, a little bit of you know a little bumpy uh see how this thing handles here it handles the road pretty nice actually okay we're gonna have to stop before we plow into that house Yeah, so far I think the Cummins is a good choice for this truck I mean it, it has and it can make more power than this um, this is not that's this is uh, not upgraded by any means uh, so you could do more look at that handling though that handling though look at that oh okay I'm gonna direct it a little bit there there we go look at that jump okay it handles jumps Okay, okay, okay. Definitely handled jumps. I think it handled it better than the rafter did. All right, let's go right here. All right. Let's see if we can find a mountain. Let's go through this. Oh, yeah. All right, it didn't slow it down. It, it sounds pretty good. It didn't slow it down. It just it kept the speed up. This is some nice water. We hitting those. No problem. Good. Okay, yeah, that's pretty, that was like, I'm pretty sure that's going to be deep. That was pretty deep. It doesn't slow it down at all. The only thing it does is that it keeps its speed up. You know, you go through it. Look at that back end come off the ground there. Look at this thing work. This thing just plowing boulders out of the way. That thing is cool. This thing is, honestly, I think this is better than the Ram and the Raptor. Surprisingly. It handles this stuff really nicely. Like, it doesn't slow it down. It keeps the speed up. Um, you know, it goes... Look at that air. Look at that. It landed like nothing happened. It's so nice. It's planted. This is just a all-around planted truck. Um, I really like this. I didn't think I was like the Titan this much, but the Titan is actually a really nice truck. Look at this thing comes off the ground we hit a rock and we went into the deep end all right we're about to go up these mountains real quick and we're gonna see i mean we can't go through trees we know that so don't try that so here we go this is the final test right here boys we're gonna see what this thing can do the rafter it did it but we had to go to third gear to climb it wow look at the air of this monster wow we in second gear with this. All right, come through here. Come through here. Come through here. Keep her going. We in second gear. We had 32 miles per hour. I don't know how fast the Rafter was going through that, but this truck is uh, doing pretty nice here. Got a little bit of air there. It came down. It's still controllable. It's It didn't get loose. It didn't get loose. We're a little sideways right there, but we got it. This thing is driving amazing. I'm surprised of how good it's driving. It's still planted. It's still planted and it's still moving. All right. Uh, so far, yeah, I, I think I like this one a little bit more than both of them. Look at that thing, monster work. Okay, get that. Yes. Wow, the air of this thing. <laughs> Anybody see a flying flying Titan? That thing is not. Wow, look at this thing go. It literally did not. Wow, it didn't even struggle going up that. That thing, it did pretty good. All right, we're going to get back into that um, that ram, and we're going to test it out, and you're, we're going to find this thing out in a minute. Which one is better? So let's get into that ram. So here's the ram, and here's the power wagon. So we're going to do exactly what we just did with the Nissan, uh, the Titan. This truck is a V8, as you guys can hear it. All right, let's start taking this thing up some of these field grades here. It is four-wheel drive. All 
Alright. Alright, okay, okay. That suspension worked, though. That suspension works. Yep, okay, yep. You gotta turn this one a little bit more here. Yep, this one has a little bit more power, so you have to really control this one. Because this, this one, you, you this one lose control, it lose control. It's no f fixing it. Okay, we're gonna jump in because I gotta get this. Wow, look at this. Oh my god. Whoa, talk about a 360 no scope. <laughs> Mountain climb. We're about to find out right here. Y'all grab y'all popcorn because we're about to try this. We're not gonna be able to go this way. Alright, how about we go the other way then? Alright. Let's go from the let's be smart about this here. And I want to try to shoot. Let's, uh, we're going fast backwards. Holy moly. Stop. All right. Let's see. Which would be the best way to go? I think our best bet is to go to the right. So I'm going to shoot it up this way and see what she can do here. Come on, Ram. Let's go. All right. So far, we got a good climb. We're losing speed a little bit. She's at 35 miles per hour. We're going to try to go up these... Can she do it? Ugh. Nope, not happening. She's not happy. She's not happy. We're going back down the mountain. Hold on to it. I gotta stay on the gas to slow me down here. I think we're stuck. Yep, the ram is stuck. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Oh yeah, it's doing good too. And honestly, I think I'm doing this in two wheel drive. I don't think it's in four wheel drive yet. Yep, you know, I don't have it in four wheel drive yet. I have it in only two wheel. Look at that. Look at what it just did. It just climbed that. We're coming through here, a little bit of air, landed. We stuck that landing. We're gonna come up this way. All right, that's pretty good. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. I'm gonna come around these little rocks. Look at that. Alright. So, let's do what the Titan just did. And, uh, let's see what we can actually do with this thing. Let's check the jumps. Because the Titan, you can jump that baby and it will be planted. And it doesn't break loose. Alright. This ram is at 100 miles per hour. And it's, it's, oh, well, we just hit a whole bunch of rocks. So, <laughs> that's deaf. Alright, let's try that. You know what? I kind of want to know. I don't want to care. Let's just keep going. Look at the view though up here. The 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 the, 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 the the beautiful view up here is amazing. It's beautiful up here. I mean, obviously, the Ram has a speed. Well, she bounced. Yup, nope, she still kept it though. It's still on its wheels. That's pretty good. It's hard landing though. It's hard landing like oh. But it's, I don't know, you can kind of keep control of the truck. It's not, like, crazy. That's sideways there. We've been rolling that. I seen that coming. I was like, we're going to roll this one here. But look at that. We're back on its wheels. It has a hard time putting the power down, though, as you guys can see. Come on. There you go. The Ram lands hard than the uh, Titan does. The Titan was very soft, gentle landing. The Ram is like, oh! <laughs> but it's, it handles itself and it's pretty good. The, the Rafter is more of like slow style of uh, off-roading. Okay, hold on. It's jumping, I'm tr trying to keep control of the truck, but it's like all over the place. Okay, we're pretty good here now. All right, gonna do one more jump. All right, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, I'm trying to keep control of it. It's, uh, you can feel the truck wanting to break loose and just fight you. Oh! Hard landing this truck is, uh, is the brutal part of it. The best truck, in my opinion, from my test, 
my heart test that I was just doing, the Nissan Titan was definitely the better truck out of the Rafter and the Ram Power Wagon. The Nissan Titan, the Cummins was actually better. Look at this. It just, it handles everything. It literally handles everything. It has somewhat of the power. Um, if you guys want to know how much power this truck has, this truck has, it has 346 horsepower and 620 foot pounds of torque. Um, so that torque is what really helps the truck. Now, if we come over into the Ram, the Ram has 573 horsepower and 509 foot pounds of torque. And then the Ford Rafter, which was over here back in the Fords, is a 450 horsepower with 500 foot pounds of torque. But the Nissan Titan did better at everything. It did literally better than at everything. It handled itself. It was able to off-road better. It was able to drive better. It was able to to take the jumps better. It was just all around a better off-roader. Look at this. It just soft, like literally. I just jumped air back there, and like you can literally hold a cup of coffee and drink it. That's how gentle this thing lands and hit the ground. The Ram was too rough. It's too tough. It's like. Boom, boom, boom. And it's it's very hard hitting those jumps and just off-roading in general, it breaks. But anyway, that was just me some testing out some of these uh, these uh, trucks and cars here on Forza Horizon 4. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Just got me a Mazda plow. <laughs> Just got a Mazda plow net in here.